going on everyone? It's Rich Lex. Oh my gosh, you won't believe this drama, girl. This drama will blow your mind. Get ready, it's a lot to handle. Oh my gosh, okay, so we gotta talk about Shane Dawson cheating again on Rylan Adams. I can't believe it, girl. Rylan Adams is devastated. Can you, Rylan Adams needs to, needs to see a therapist or something because the, he's going through emotional distress right now. Okay, so let me get you caught up on the tea, okay? So first of all, you know, there's been rumors that, you know, Shane Dawson has been flirting with this cameraman. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know, the rumors on the street. Chris came to me yesterday. I wonder why. <laughs> You're not helping. Chris I'm not helping. Yesterday. Every every podcast, you guys are flirting up a storm. You guys, what have I? What have I ever? Uh, first of all, okay, I'm not. The, I'm not the. Uh, what's a word that's not predator? <laughs> Something that's less crazy than that. <laughs> uh, perpetrator. Uh, Aggressor? I didn't mean to put the blame. I'm on not you. the aggressor here. Well, that's worse. <laughs> that um, sounds like the worst thing you could say. <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing. Me and Chris have natural chemistry. I'm not saying. <laughs> Yeah, good job, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying sexual chemistry. I'm saying chemistry. You gotta specify. Besides my brother, you're the one I've known the longest. Yeah. Sorry, Ryland. But also me and you are very similar. We both have similar mental health issues. Yeah. <laughs> and similar zodiacs. And I just love you and I care you. For guys you guys go outside in the corner and talk for hours. <laughs> I'll be in. Even Ryland Adams, you know, kind of admitted it. and said, Wants Chris more than he wants me. In that situation. Well, more tea has come forward, okay? I'm like, <gasps> no. Oh, first of all, I'm really excited today because I went to Bath and Body Works because their Halloween collection is out right now. And look, I was able to get the black kitten with the little diamond eyes. It holds your candle right here. I got the hand holding. I, I'm so shook right now. They even have the little keychain to hold your little sanitizers. Super cute. You. I mean, oh my God. Okay. So before I get into the tea, because you already know I have a lot to say, girl. This video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com. You can use code LUX for 50% off, free shipping in the United States and Canada. And also guys, let me tell you, exclusions do apply. However, it's not all about just toys over there. They have silk pajamas for men and women, beautiful lingerie, you know, the bustiers and all that. And it comes in discreet packaging so your nosy neighbors won't know what you got going on. And a portion of the proceeds goes to help if I care for HIV and AIDS. So thank you, Adam Nee, for sponsoring this video. You can use code LUX. 50% off. Where else are you gonna get 50% off? It's not even Black Friday, girl. Anyways, they love when you use my code. Thank you, Adam Nee, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with this drum. Okay. Well, this all started because Shane Dawson posted a picture of his uh, cameraman. Okay, now, shout out to Peter Mon because he broke the story. Gotta give credit where credit's due. And you know, some people are gonna say he's reaching you, Rod. Does your back hurt, Rich, from reaching for the T? Uh, no, but my back hurts from carrying this entire drama community, I'll tell you that much. So Shane Dawson posted on the Instagram, he posted this right here. Happy birthday, Chris. We all love you so much. And I'm so grateful for our friendship. Thank you for being the most sweet, supportive, bear loving guy ever. And then he put on their crying emoji, heart, cake, stars, and a little balloon and stuff like that. Now, this is, this is where it gets so interesting. This is where the sneaky snakes and the drama queens and the poindexters come out. Because upon further, investigation you can see here that Shane Dawson posted five <gasps> pictures of Chris so picture one two three four five what does this mean <gasps> why does Shane Dawson that's a lot of promotion that's a that's over a million dollars if you were to put a value on it if you wanted to a promotion the house okay well if you go back and you look at when shane dawson posted rylan's birthday he didn't post no five pictures no 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 editing rich lux here as you can see upon further investigation when Shane Dawson posted Rylan Adams' birthday, he only gave him one piddly sad photo. So that's that drama. Even more speculation to the cheating. Okay. So I already know. I already know what you're here for. Feast your eyes on the latest drama will blow your mind. Because now, Shane Dawson and his ex-friends, Andrew and Garrett, 
have made a statement. And it was very interesting because for those of you who are not caught up in the drama, they were long-term friends. Apparently it ended on good terms, but you know, it just seems like there's just this unresolved issue from the fans' point of view. Okay, so let me... Moses, can you bring me my water? The pH balance at 8.5 or higher. Ah, uh, thank you, Mo. I gotta open it myself, Moses. Oh my God. I mean, you bring it to me, the least you can do is open the cap, girl. Uh, do it like we rehearsed. I'm, on, I'm filming live. Anyways, guys, check this out. The issue was, here you have these friends that have dissolved their friendships between them, maybe civilly, and maybe they're all cool with each other. But the public doesn't know anything about it. There was never a video saying, hey, we're gonna part ways, they're gonna do their own thing, I'm gonna do my thing, da, blah, blah, blah. There's no drama between us, peace and love and all that stuff. There was never none of that. So it leads to a lot of speculation as to what really happened with Shane Dawson and Garrett Watts and Andrew, is it Suiki? And Andrew, which is big better. Well, they posted a statement today, which was very telling as to, is there trouble in paradise? Was there any drama ever? So let me read you the statement. I gotta get, I gotta get my receipts because I can't see with this these damn eyelashes, girl. Pardon my absence. I was celebrating my first true hiatus from staring at screens and cooking up content since moving to LA. Upon feeling refreshed, I had several conversations with my close friend and longtime collaborator, Garrett Watts, about being recruited to officially join him full time crafting content for his creative universe. I'm stoked to say I will now serve as a producer, cameraman, and editor for Garrett's YouTube channel and all things Garrett's Watt related. I look forward to being on board and literally doubling the size of the Garrett creative team in the process. Much love and much content to come, Andrew. So that was very telling because a lot of people were speculating the verbiage that he used about being producer and a lot of people are piecing together with this thin piece of glue. They're saying, so are you trying to say that maybe Shane Dawson didn't give you that type of producer status that you wanted, that you were just belittled to friend slash video, video guy, video editor, video cameraman, it's like friend, cameraman, but maybe he wanted more. Maybe Andrew wanted a little, maybe he wanted more titles as a creative director, uh, producer, and things of that nature. Let me, like, let me just cultivate this world for you and you just sign off on it. I think that Garrett Watts is giving him an opportunity to do that and that's why he's actually excited about it, which then leads to say, which then leads me to say, is that maybe the reason why they had a falling out that maybe Andrew wanted more creative control over the Shane Dawson brand when it came to filming videos. Now, Garrett Watts has co-signed this because Garrett Watts did reshare it on his Instagram. So that's there. He didn't add anything to it. In fact, the last thing he posted was five hours ago. The haunted building, the apartment building that I've been obsessed with for five years oh, now. Oh, yes. Dude, this is crazy. I got an apartment in the building. What? Garrett so you can see here let me give it a like I'm gonna put on there shook now what's very interesting now here we go here we go get ready because we're about to spill some tea this is why people don't like me so here you have Garrett who posted this trailer for his upcoming YouTube video very spooky the haunting of something they spooky very Shane Dawson type eyes you know what I'm saying but everyone does it you know what I'm saying so here you have Shane Dawson's ex-friends are doing this spooky video which I love I love it so much and when I go into the comments I see cat sketch I'm so happy excited for you Andrew bagels and shades said pull up uh, let me see we got Michelle Hara I think is the name look 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 because y'all gonna say I'm making that look at these people right they're commenting they're shook about it what's interesting enough is that in this video 
in the comments section, Shane Dawson doesn't say, hey, congratulations. I can't wait to see it. I'm so proud of you. Love you so much. Like, it's, it's non-existent. Now it's five hours ago. At the time of making this video. So here you have Garrett Watts and Andrew coming together and filming something fun and cool, this new creative thing, and then Shane Dawson doesn't say anything. So it kind of lets me think, like, is there drama? Like, is there drama between, was there something interesting? I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Like, is it reaching? Do you think that there is drama? Was that a response? Was that shade to Shane Dawson? And they're doing spooky content? Because I kind of believe that if Shane Dawson was maybe still friends with Garrett and Andrew, they would probably be doing spooky videos like that. I mean, that's what I think about it. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think about this drama, girl. But I do I do have to show it off because I'm so excited about the Bath & Body Works collection. I literally stayed up all night refreshing the website to order online and I was able to get it because it, at five o'clock in the morning it went live and then I went to the store today and bought even more. So I bought stuff online and then went to the store and bought more. So here's the little kitty cat. It's this beautiful black on black with the beautiful eyes right here that just, oh, they're so beautiful, with the gold collar. You turn it around. Now it fits a one wick candle and it doesn't necessarily have to be a Bath & Body Works candle. You can find one that fits for it. And so this one retailed for, I think, $30. So I'm, I'm basically broke at this point because I bought all of them. And then like you're only able to buy one of these, cause these, oh my God. This one, people, I'm using the Cinnamon Toast Crunch candle. I love it so much. Okay, this one right here, it has this green velvet. I don't know if you can, what is that? Just dare, it has this green velvet thing right here. I think last year it was black velvet, but now it's like this green velvet and you have this beautiful gold. And then you have the hand with the little ring on it. And there you go. And it's like a skeleton hand, it's very spooky. So I just think this is super cute. And I bought even more stuff that I wanna share with you guys. Okay, so I got this thing for the hand sanitizers, which is a little ghost. It's really blingy, like under light. Right now it just looks like it's just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that to you, but it looks better. It looked better at the store. And then you got this really cool little like witch hand, they call it, that would hold the sanitizer. And you can clip it onto your bag. And then, girl, I was shook by this one. This one right here, you click it and its eyes light up. You see that? That's super cute. I just think this is so cute that it freaking lit up like that. And you just like hit the head again. And then there you go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, here's the kicker. This whole entire thing lights up. It's glow in the dark. So I, I don't know, I should go buy more. And um, the staff told me that they have enough inventory to last maybe a week, but the hands sold out the fastest. And then there's one more that's on the way. It's like, it's like a globe that has an eyeball in it that spins and there's just so much more. Like I just, I need to go back and get more. I really do. But anyways, let me know what you think about that drama in the comments down below. And thank you to our sponsor, Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.